I, I recall because I was reading up about this myself on the internet and there's these like collecting societies that claim that they could license this and I didn't even realize that actually for music there was like multiple parts that you needed to go to. So I, I read on the internet that hey you could get this license and it was like 5% of your revenue for doing what we were doing. And Sounds I'm like, reasonable. Yeah, this seems really Maybe reasonable. Maybe it's a mechanical license or something. Or yeah, yeah, performing yeah. Right, uh, rights. Um, but I, I thought that was the whole thing. So I'm like, shit, this, this will take six months. This is going to be super easy. Plug and play. And, yeah. Um, and then I got introduced to um, someone who was in the music industry and I kind of said, well, maybe you can help us just get this done and it, I guess it will take just a few months and then it will be Who is this, like sub-American or? Yeah, uh, Fred Davis. Oh, uh, Fred Davis, yeah, yeah, sure. Fred or Fred Wilson. Yeah. New uh, Yorker, yeah. Yeah. So um, Fred um, and just said, well, uh, I need to sit you down and I'm like, yeah, sure. So, well, it's not really going to be as easy as you think because you actually need to go and do deals with people individually. Um, but I, I'll I'll introduce you to them, and I'm like, okay, fine, that's totally fair. So I got on a plane to New York, sat down with all the major labels um, and some of the biggest, big, bigger indies, uh, and everyone was super supportive. Yeah, you know, this seems seems really interesting. Seems really great, you know. Um, Come, you know, if you can come back in a few weeks, we'll try to figure something out. So um, I remember walking out, calling my co-founder Martin, and sort of saying, "Well, you know, this seems totally reasonable. We'll we'll do it in about six months." Uh, and about two and a half years later, we launched.